Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys some really simple and fun ways that you can create fall decor with Dollar Tree items. Today this video is also sponsored by Ritual. So let's get into the video. First DIY I'll be using this a cottontail Easter egg sign and of course it's Easter but you know, it doesn't have to be. I love this burlap around the edges and that's really why I bought it to begin with. I grabbed this sunflower fabric from Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting it to just to make sure that I can get that on the center. So I painted it white and I decided I want to use fabric. I want this to pop just a little bit and I completely forgot that I had fabric to begin with. I bought a couple different fabric pieces and I never use them for fall. So today's a perfect day. I'm using my worst enemy Mod Podge, but it really works great on fabric. So I really don't have an issue. It's really just kind of when I use it any other time, but works great on fabric. So I just laid that down and then I'm going to be putting Mod Podge over the top of this as well. One, it just makes it super stiff and easy to cut. So I have no issues. I'm using my rotary blade to cut around the edges and no, it did not cut that burlap on the edges, which I was shocked. I'm just doing a little bit more of this uh, Mod Podge. Actually, I think this is my first layer and then I end up cutting later on because I realized that, yes, I need to put this over the top before I keep cutting. This truck, I've had this for so long. It's from Dollar Tree. I think they do come out with these every single year anyways. I'm just going to be painting this. I'm using a terracotta color by Arteza. They have some really good acrylic paints and I always have those in the description box below for you guys. And then I decided to paint the wheels black and I'm using this navy color. This is called In the Navy by Dixie Bell. And I think this is the most truest navy color I have ever got. So I love using this. I'm um, mostly furniture, but if you need a navy color, you need a navy color. And I thought this would be perfect. And then some Waverly antique wax. I'm going to be painting the back of that truck and just distressing and dry brushing a little bit on the pumpkins to give it a little bit of texture. Lots of hot glue, gluing this to the center of the sign. And then I really liked the way this looked, but it needed a little bit of sunflowers. I know you can cut these and tear these apart, but I thought this bunch or this batch of sunflowers would look super cute sticking out of the back of this truck. And that is it for this one. part of the video is sponsored by Ritual. Ritual multivitamins use a delayed release capsule design, which means the capsule will dissolve later to help bypass the stomach and dissolve in the small intestine, which is an ideal place for nutrient absorption. Because Ritual's capsule was designed to dissolve later, you can take them on an empty stomach with no issues. And as for me and multivitamins, I don't normally take vitamins, but when I did, I'd want to take them in the morning, but I'm not really a breakfast type of person. So I think these are perfect because you do not have have to eat and then take your vitamins. Uh, Ritual ships to the U.S., Canada, and the United Kingdom, and I like that they ship directly to your door. It is a subscription, so your vitamins will come to your door every single month, but your happiness is guaranteed for the first 30 days, and if you need to cancel or change your delivery date for your next order, you can do that on your account page. If you guys want to check out Ritual, use my code Kristen20 for 20% off your first month. I love that they send these directly to your door because I know that if I do take vitamins, and I run out. I am not that person that will put vitamins on my grocery list, so I will forget. So I really like that they can definitely deliver to your door every single month and you don't even have to worry about it. If you guys want to check out Ritual, link and coupon code are in the description box below. Next at DIY, I'll be using these little coffee cups. I have had that mother coffee lover type coffee mug for such a long time and I knew I wanted to use it for fall and then I really wasn't going to use it for fall because I think we're nearing down to the end of my fall DIYs for the year of 2022. I know it's so sad. Uh, I actually really enjoy doing fall and then you kind of start to run out and you realize that you are really excited to do Christmas. 
I don't know if I'm that person quite yet, but anyways, painted it white, used my blow dryer, and I'm using that In the Navy by Dixie Belle once again, and I'm just kind of making some lines so I know what to paint in, to paint in, painting in the lines, but I love this navy color. I think this is so pretty. So this only took one coat and that's really all some of Dixie Belle's paint takes is one coat just because it is a mineral chalk paint. So it covers really, really well. And with furniture, sometimes I only need to do one coat, especially when it is that darker paint. It works great. So I'm using some stickers from the Dollar Tree and just adding them to the center of this. And then I did end up painting the top of this silver. I guess I just did not show that. Uh, and then I'm just adding a little gingham bow. And these cute little bows are off of Amazon. And I will link those for you guys as well. This DIY, I am covering up that pumpkin spice. I am not really a pumpkin fan, uh, although I think the decorations are super cute. Uh, I'm just, I don't like the taste of pumpkin anything, although I do like those little Debbie cakes that have the faces. I think those are pumpkin something, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, they've been around forever. I think as long as Debbie cakes have ever been a thing. Uh, I do like those. Those aren't too bad, but anything else pumpkin, not my thing. This is the terracotta color by Arteza. I'm using this once again. And then I did just end up wrapping some twine around the top and adding one of these little die cut. I think these are little die cut leaves. Yeah, these little laser cut leaves. And then I decided just to add a sticker to the center uh, I'm really trying to get away from those words, so I just wanted to leave these pretty basic and pretty simple, and I love the way these two kind of sit together. I think they are so stinking cute. Next DIY, I'm using three of these pumpkins from Dollar Tree, and I'm using three different color paints, so we have the Waverly and the Moss and White, and there's that Terracotta Color by Arteza. So I'm just going to be painting each pumpkin a different color. Once the pumpkins were painted, I'm using this rub on transfer for all of these pumpkins. So I really liked this one. I picked up a ton of these uh, when they were out at Dollar Tree and it has a pumpkin in the middle and, you know, you got to think like in the fall time or at least in Michigan, the fall time, you know, you got the farmers out, you're, you know, getting rid of your crops for the season. You're, you know, good. I'm, I'm not a farmer. I don't know everything uh, or the you know, terms for it. But anyways, it reminded me of like farming and it reminded me of like fall and pumpkins and Halloween, things like that. Plus we got to love the good old cows and the Highland cows and the longhorns and all the things. So that could either be a Highland, it could be a longhorn, you know, just we're going to keep on going. We don't really need to discuss this whole entire rub on transfer, but I love these rub on transfers. I'm just using a really thick crafter stick. I get, uh, rub on transfers from Amazon as well. And I love those sticks that they come with because they are just a lot thicker than your good old popsicle stick. Uh, so I'm using these for every single one of these pumpkins. Like I said, I had quite a few and not really, didn't really know what to do with them. You see here, I like already cut that little Highland cow out of the center, but I just wanted to add the second one, just the sides because we're making these just a little bit different. And then going on to the orange, I just went and did the same thing I did to the first pumpkin. And rub on transfers have to be one of my favorite things to use. I feel like I have not used them enough this fall season. Uh, so we just got to use it just a couple more times. Once so the transfers were on there, I just ended up gluing the three pumpkins together. I was going to make a fun topiary and I decided that I was actually just going to leave this and just like have it as a porch leaner. I think it fits my decor on the porch and I think it looks really, really cute. So that's what I did. Decided to just make it a little porch leaner. And here you go. That bow is also the same little gingham bow from one of the last DIYs from Amazon. It's a little bit larger, but I love the way this looks. It's so cute. And if I did want to leave it outside, I will probably be bringing it in anytime it rains just because of the wood kind of 
does not hold up very well, but I think if I sealed this, it would, it may or may not be okay. Although the wind would probably eventually take it from my porch. The DIY is a pretty simple one. I'm using a sign that I have had for a while. I think this is from a yard sale more than likely, but you can use any sort of sign from Dollar Tree if you want. And I'm going to be using these little Buffalo check leaves from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to be laying them up and down. So I got four of them because we're going to be making a cute little fall sign, of course. And I love these leaves. And I don't think I've used these at all this year. I may or may not have maybe used one. Uh, I don't know. I just, they weren't, I thought they were cute when I bought them. And I realized that they're not like the cutest things ever. So I never really knew what to do with them. But this sign is actually really cute. I got these wooden letters from Michaels and I like them. They were a little on the pricier side. I want to say they, with the coupon, they were like $10 or something like that. But I like it because it comes with multiple letters and you'd probably be spending the same amount of money at Dollar Tree because you only get one letter in each package. So if you wanted to do multiple letters like fall, you'd already have to buy two of them. So anyways, I love these. They're a little bit smaller, super cute. Dry brushed it with some Waverly antique wax and you have a super cute fall sign. And I love that it is vertical than horizontal. So I think it just makes a little bit more. Add a couple cute pieces together and you're good to go. How cute is this? This one right here uh, was one of those I was just wasn't sure about. I had these this box already painted white and I wanted to put these wooden roses in the center. And I was like, this is going to be the easiest thing I've ever made. Just lots of hot glue, stick them, and I'm good to go. No, these flowers are at a point. So can we just talk about that for a second? I had the worst time with this and then I just ended up adding tons of glue. Like, so you're going to see here, I was kind of putting in one rose at a time. And then this one, I'm just caking the glue and I'm packing it in. This is going to work. I want it to work. It's been in my head for so long. Like we're going to get these wooden roses and we're going to use them for something. I bought so many packs. I think I was given a few packs as well. And I'm like, I have too many. I need to use these for something, something fun. And I love when like a ton of roses, like in the shadow boxes are stuck together. I think it is so cute. So here we go. I did it. So now what, right? So I decided to add one of these little leather tags and just tie it. And that is all I did for this. So you could take that tag off and then reuse this for something else. But overall, I think this turned out really cute, whether it was hard or not. A wood pumpkin from Dollar Tree and some fabric. This is the other little fabric roll that I picked up with the trucks. I don't think the red trucks will ever get too old for me, although I don't decorate as much with them as I used to. Like I used to be like super obsessed with them where everything was red truck for Christmas, for fall, or it had to be a blue truck or a black truck or a white truck or an orange truck. I don't think I have any orange trucks, but I would have bought one if I seen one. Uh, but I still really like this fabric and it is super bright and really colorful. And sometimes that is what I need in my life. I think that's what everyone needs in life. It's just a little bit of color and happiness and if color makes you happy. Then pick up this fabric if you find it. Adding Mod Podge to the pumpkin and to the top because we're going to make it hard and crusty. And that's just the way I think fabric works better when you need to cut it and all that things. So I did just use scissors and cut along the edges and then I'm just adding some of these leaves. These are from Dollar Tree years ago. They probably do still carry them. I think they carry a lot of the same kind of like staple items from Dollar Tree. Uh, but yeah, just adding a couple leaves and then of course to top this off, I had to add a sunflower. These ones are the ones from Hobby Lobby, $2.99 and then when they're 50% off, they're only $1.50, which is a really great deal. And they're really, really cute. Then I decided to add a little leather thankful to the center. And this probably you didn't need to add the thankful. But either way, I thought it was so stinking cute. You guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to check out Rituals Multivitamins. And use my code Kristen20 for 20% 20 off your first month. But that is it, you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye.